Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Ugh, sorry that took so long. I sat down three times to start realizing I didn't have my water. <laughs> and then I'd get up to get the water and get distracted by something. But we're here. We're going. Hello, bearded Mexican. Hello to fly. Johnny Cooks, Mama Zug. Thank you all for being here. We are still just kind of working on this recipe book. I'm nowhere near where I'd like to be. So as much as I would love to skip it and go back to more Sims, I need to make some progress so that I feel good about where I'm at, especially since I don't think I'll be able to do this while I'm out of town. I'm going to try but I don't want to pay for a Prime subscription to Evernote in order to have access to this on multiple devices. Might be able to still do it through internet, but we'll see. So I'll play around and I'll be able to let you guys know next week if I can still access it or if I do have to have a subscription. Um, Apparently there's a lot of political stuff going on today. We're not about it. I don't care right now. I do not have the mental capacity for it. So maybe tomorrow, feel free to talk to me then. But today, no thank you, please. We're just gonna chill. We're going to keep working on the almanac. So right now I'm on March 6th, I think is where I left off. I just finished March 6th, so I have to get through. And where I would like to be, I added a sticky note because I'm trying to do one week a day, which is still 52 days um, for a year and I've got four years. So even one week a day is still pretty minimal at best. So I would like to be done with April by tomorrow before I go on vacation. Ideally, I'd like to be ahead of that. But I don't think that's going to be very likely. So we'll just jump into it. <laughs> this is where we're at. So this is, again, what Evernote looks like when you open it. I've already built my tags. So I think we're doing okay moving forward. I've got music. I have you guys. I have water, soda. So I think we're good to go. So how is everyone's week so far? It's Tuesday, so we're into the week a little bit. Not quite as good as Wednesday. Oh yes, Evernote did update, so now you can record audio, which is kind of a cool little addition. Tags, okay. It still is a candle. I turned the music up a bit for today, so hopefully you can still hear me clearly over it, but also you won't hear the keyboard clacking quite as much. But obviously if it's an issue, let me know. We're just here to kind of chill out and have a good day. I lit some incense. I got amber incense going right now. Kind of want to light a candle, but one thing at a time. I think that's all it is. Oh, I can't believe I'm already so far behind. It's okay though. It's just for me. Eventually it'd be nice if I can share this with other people. 
project I've been putting off for years, so I'm further ahead than I was. Hard Tickle, hi, how are you? It's been a while, I know. I'm doing pretty well. What have you been up to? How's streaming been? How's life? Tell me all of it. Are you gonna come up and get in my way? I'm trying to type. Yes, I, I appreciate you too, kitty. you lay down. You're kind of in the way. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you guys. Oh, she moved her head. She was rubbing her head right on my hand as I'm trying to type. You are a butt. There. There we go. Sorry about that. My internet decided to take a nosedive, so I had to reset the router real fast. But thankfully I can do that from where I'm sitting because my cat is now thoroughly planted on my lap. Making it a bit difficult <laughs> to do anything. I've been working and streaming. Oh, I'm glad that's going well. I appreciate you stopping by her tickle. It's been a while. I know you've been busy. I try and make my rounds, but so many hours in the day. I wish there were more. are getting ahead of my eyes. All right, have a good day at work. I hope it's treating you well. I'll be here for a couple hours at least. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully making progress. just to help keep track of chat so I don't miss anything from you guys. Tag. Is 
There is a written portion. I can't remember if there were any others that focused on tarot cards, but that might be kind of an interesting tag to have. I feel like there was at least one other. Shoot. not sensing. we go. Sorry you guys, I don't know why I'm having so many issues today. Hmm. Normally, not a problem. Let me try... Let me try that, see if closing a couple of internet applications will help. I don't know why it's disconnecting. I do apologize though. That's frustrating. Now I'm glad I did not try and do Sims because I'd be really frustrated. This, if you guys miss some of it, yeah, it's annoying, but Sims is more exciting and helps to have camera. Well, at least it's only one that I missed. And still, I don't like that's going to move it up to the most recent spot. <sighs> yeah, I can't reorder stuff. Okay. A little frustrating, but we'll make do. That's fine. That's why I try to get all my tags in before I get into it. I like for it to be in numerical order, but it's not a big deal. Since I can search for everything. Okay, 
so we do still have candles spoken. And this is a clearing. Cosplay, hey! Yeah, this is probably one of the chillest streams of mine for you to catch. I'm just working on a digital recipe book for myself, and this is a way to make myself kind of stick to it. Mondays, I normally play games, which would probably be what you like the most, I'm guessing. Then Wednesdays, I cook. And Fridays, I typically do art. Next month, I am going to try and move things around. But no, this one's just kind of like sit back, relax. Hopefully, I've got things balanced so the keyboard clacking isn't too crazy. What do I normally play? I don't. A <laughs> little bit of everything. So I was doing Genshin Impact, then I moved to Valheim, then I moved to Doki Doki Literature Club, and then yesterday I started Sims 4, the um, oh what did they call it? It's the Magic expansion. So it's, it was really fun and I really wanted to skip this today and do more Sims because Sims is amazing and I'm obsessed with the magic. Smash Bros? No, I don't have Smash Bros. I haven't played that since GameCube? I don't remember if I ever played it on Wii. But also you're super toxic with Smash Bros. So I will never play Smash Bros with you. Calamity, hello. How are you, my boss friend from Florida? Soaking up them sun rays. Kicking butt, taking names. If I'm going to play anything, I have Animal Crossing. <laughs> I could play some Animal Crossing with you. Even then, you'll probably try and find a way to make it competitive. And I'll be like, okay, bye. Um, yeah, speaking of being obsessed, um, sure, you do you. I don't understand why there has to be winners or losers. Not my thing. It's all a game. We're all just here to have fun. So that's what we do. Oops. Shawnee Bear, hello, my Australian lover from another mother. Did you get coffee? Should be about time for you. Are you on your way to coffee or on your? did you already get coffee and on your way to work? If I have my timing correct.
<laughs> Coffee. I'm just on your way. Okay. I was going to say it's what, 8.30 in the morning almost for you? Did I get that right? 9.30? I was doing so well with the time zones and then daylight savings hit and now I'm confused again. It's, it's a thing. this till six oof oof I'm the person who's like I have to be somewhere at 8 30 I guess I'll get up at eight gives me 15 minutes to get out of bed get dressed brush my hair brush my teeth maybe throw on some makeup and then get on the road I I can't get up early I've tried so many times to like leave time before I have to be places for breakfast. I can't do it. And even like streaming in the evening, it makes me want to sleep till like five so that I can get up and get ready and stream at six and that be the start of my day. But it's not. So it's very, very different. Need at least an hour, right? Most people do. I shower at night. I don't like showering first thing in the morning. Um, same thing, like I'll wash my face at night, not first thing in the morning, brush my teeth both. Yeah, that makes sense. You want your beard to look good. I'm lazy, so for the longest time I had very little hair, so I didn't have to do much with it. But then it got to a weird length. Thankfully, that's when COVID hit, so I didn't have to go get wax or gel or something to style my hair. And now it's at a pretty decent length. I get what this is trying to do. It's trying to take that first step to breaking like a bad habit, but there are some things that it's okay to obsess about, right? But I guess obsession means like you've taken it a step too far already. I don't know, what do you guys think? I guess I think of obsession like hyper-focus as opposed to something negative. And there are some things it's good to be hyper-focused on, like your health and your self-care. Is it terrible to obsess about Calm Key and pink shirts because they look so good on him? <laughs> Is it terrible to <laughs> Yeah, obsess about an assignment. I mean, I guess there's a point where like you've turned in the assignment and to want to like keep changing it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, again, 
my initial thought of the word obsession is more towards like hyper focus on something as opposed to the obsession is him taking it off. <laughs> See, do we do we need to go buy some records and break those so that you stop thinking about him taking off that pink shirt? Oh, uh, too funny. Revelations, hello. Adult nappies through the land, right? Um, I think what I tend to obsess the most about would be if I said or did the wrong thing. So until I get clear, concise feedback, and even then, sometimes I don't believe it, I'll run through scenarios in my head to try and see how it could have been misconstrued and if there are things I need to improve. So I probably obsess too much on how I make mistakes, whether I actually did or not. That's interesting. Hmm. Right, Revelations? I know it's pretty common. It's probably like an anxiety thing. I don't know. Overthinking thing? Well, at least I'm not alone. <laughs> but I'm also sorry you guys are dealing with that. That's no fun. Um... Wow, that's not how you spell pocket. You need a nappy? I need a nap. I took a nap, but I didn't really feel rested. I didn't sleep the greatest last night. Which is pretty common, but like, I slept even less well than usual. So I tried taking a nap. Didn't go great. All right, where are we at? This is for success. I guess there's some spoken and written elements to this. Oh man, I wish I could sleep that soundly. That would be nice. Um, okay, I don't have a self tag. That's fine. Wow, seriously? The. Just trying to spell the. Does anyone else get to where like they didn't sleep well or they're so tired that it's giving them a headache? Because that was me. That's why I ended up taking a nap. I have a headache and it's right, right along here. So we'll see how long I can do this. I'm hoping I won't need to put my glasses on because it's not a sinus headache. So it's not really hurting my eyes. But once it's dark outside, these lights might be too bright.
yeah, for some reason I'm just like tired enough that my head hurts. Kind of weird. Also super random, I love the word mer. M-Y-R-R-H. How cool is that? Mer. Wow, that's definitely not how you spell devastating. Tell what's on my mind when I misspell the word pray. <laughs> Cat, you're not helping. At least she sat still for a good, like, what, 20 minutes? I do like this acronym and it's something I need to remember more often, but it is very nice to start the day with silence and in a calm state of mind. And I try and do that before bed too. I don't want to go to bed in an emotional state because then I don't tend to sleep well. And yes, I'm aware. That's why I didn't sleep well last night. affirmations, positive statements. I try and do those throughout the day. It's pretty important for me to try and look for positive in things, even things that are mostly negative or tend to have negative leanings. Meditation's a big one. Um, deep breathing techniques are big for me to help me with the meditative state. And then yeah, the visualization, that I didn't ever realize that some people can't visualize things in their head clearly. It's something that just kind of came naturally for me. So I'm used to visualizing things. Um, if I have a goal, it's pretty easy most of the time to figure out the best path from A to B. It's just right now, I don't really know what my goal is because the world is turned upside down. And so that's where I'm struggling with my visualizations lately. I just, I don't know what exactly I'm working towards. And if you don't know where you're going, it's kind of hard to keep moving forward. But I also refuse to stand still, so I'm just kind of like wandering aimlessly. Super fun. natural medication. Ooh, yeah. Phew. 
I don't know if it's something I'd have access to in the States. But if you don't mind sharing like what that is, um, if you want to DM me, that's fine as well. Otherwise, you should be able to post it in chat. Oops. Okay, kitty, I love you, but you're in the way. Say hi. <laughs> vodka. Of course it's your vodka. I'm allergic. I'm trying to work, sweetie. Can you please go down now? No? What are you doing? Thank you. Ugh. Oh, St. John's Wort? I do need to look into that. I don't know a good apothecary around here. Um, one used to have it for, like, putting in tea. But I have heard of good things from St. John's, so I do need to look into that. I definitely need to do better with exercise. I was doing pretty well, and then it got cold again and started snowing. Mm -mm, not okay with me. So I stopped going outside and going for walks, which I do need to work on. I'm hoping while I'm out of town that I'll be able to get back into doing daily walks, even if it's cold. So for R, reading, uplifting, and inspirational material, does that mean TikTok? Because there's captions on them. I do that daily. <laughs> Probably too much. Oh no. What did I do? Oh, that's what I did. Wrong. There we go. Journaling is important. It's a very helpful way to get out anything that you've been bottling up in a safe and healthy way. Icebergs, hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing well, having a good Tuesday. Hopefully a good week so far. Am I the only one here that journals or does anyone else? Just curious. But yes, these are like if you try some of these, even just a couple. They are little ways of self-care throughout the day, but are pretty quick and easy to do. I'm doing very well, thank you. Have a little bit of a headache, but nothing too bad.
think I'll put that under divination as well. I do. I have a cat. She was in my lap and I just had to put her down because she didn't want to sit still, which makes it kind of difficult to type away on the keyboard. What about you, Icebergs? Do you have any pets? Cat and a dog. Oh, Twiggles and Duke. Cute. That's cute. Where'd the names come from? Anything in particular? thought of them at the time. Nice. My cat's name is Ro, because I'm a jerk. Like Salmon Ro, or Cod Ro. I didn't feel like calling her Caviar. I thought Ro was a better one. sit still this time. Can you look for the camera? What's that? What's right here? Oh girl. Can you sit in my lap this time? Let me work. She wants to play. Her tail's going. <laughs> Yeah, my cat is almost 15. Got her in 2006. She 
still pretty spry. Okay, can you sit still? Otherwise I'm gonna have to put you back down. I'm trying to work. Two thousand six, yeah. Getting up there. Mine's a spoiled little princess. And she knows it. But I'm single, no kids. So she's stuck with all my attention. No I don't even have any other pets. Yet. I've thought about it many, many times. going to be a kitchen because it involves food. I guess. Cat, you're in the way. Yeah, she's pretty great. I just want to make sure that if I get another, oh, coffee, Shawnee Bear, you tease me. Tease. So rude. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure if I get another pet that I can definitely take care of it because I would like a dog. I thought about another cat. But I kind of would like a dog next. Um, probably a medium sized dog. But that's going to involve a lot of supplies I don't have, plus extra vet visits, um, shots, and things. So it comes down to A, having the money, and also. Do I want to use that money towards a dog or to travel? Because I kind of would rather travel right now. But I would feel so guilty traveling, leaving the dog, and then, especially if anything were to go wrong, I spent the money to travel instead of save up in case something goes wrong with the dog. Because we know dogs love to get into stuff. So the chance that something goes wrong with the dog is pretty high. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of my thought. Like, it's hard enough trying to leave my cat for a few days, let alone to travel for, like, weeks. And dogs kind of need a bit more attention than my cat does. So I'd hate to have to keep boarding my dog or try and figure out how to travel because I'd like a service dog. So I don't know. I don't know. Yes, hello, Weeby. You are in my lap, but I'm trying to work. Cat, oh, thank you so much, Cat the Mal. When do you get your, your items you ordered, Cat? I'm like anxiously awaiting pictures. I'm dying. I need to see. I need to know.
some of them ship today? Yes! Soon. Ooh, as early as Thursday? Nice. Yeah, with me being home so much this past year, I don't know how my cat's gonna do as I can leave the house more again. I get my next COVID shot on Monday, so that means like three more weeks, two and a half weeks. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I'm tired today. That's not how you spell dead. My first shot, I mean, I don't think it was too bad, but I did have all the symptoms. So I had a sore arm. I had a fever of 102. Um, some difficulty breathing, exhaustion, pain in the joints, muscles, ligaments. But for me, it wasn't too bad because I'm kind of used to a lot of that. So, oh, I also had upset stomach. That was the worst. I really hate when my stomach's upset because then I can't eat, which exacerbates a lot of problems. So, exactly, what's my secret? I'm always in pain, so I just barely notice when it's a little bit more. No, it was enough more that it was noticeable, um, but I was still pretty functional. So we'll see this time around, because everything I've heard with Moderna is that it's much worse the second shot. Makes me nervous, because Kitty, I can't have you pushing my hand out of the way. I'm trying to use the keyboard. I got you, you're okay. You just can't keep pushing my hand out of the way. I know you want my attention, I'm working. I know. She's glaring. She's so mad. So yeah, fingers crossed. I would... Worst case, I'll have to cancel Tuesday and push back Wednesday. Most likely case, I'll have to cancel or push back Tuesday. But even if it's just doing this, like I should be able to do that even if I feel like crap, I don't know. We'll see. Here, thank you. Can we agree on this? I don't know. Oh, sure. Now she's going to move. She was laying across my arm, so I couldn't move it. My cat's a brat. Such a brat. Oh my. 
I honestly have no idea why I'm so tired today. I wasn't very hungry this morning, so I ate just before streaming, which normally wakes me up. I should add meditate to this one. I mean, it shouldn't be. I had some chicken and rice. So I don't know. I think it's just because it's colder today and overcast. Um, and then also I didn't sleep the greatest last night. But I'm not sure. So we'll try some more caffeine. One of these days I won't be so reliant on caffeine. We're working on it. I'm getting better. That's kind of poetry. That sentence or that part of that sentence is kind of poetic. It's soft, the it's soft, yielding within. I do love pomegranate though. Energizing tonic? Oh yeah, please let me know. I've been looking for a good B vitamin based energy drink. Um, I know V8 makes one, but it's pretty expensive for the amount you get. And it does have quite a bit of added sugar. So if I can do the B vitamins without the sugar, I just don't know if it requires sugar. But even if it requires sugar, does it really need that much? unhelpful. Got to change the date on that. That was smart. <laughs> there we go. That's better. But yes, please let me know about an energizing tonic. Um, I was talking with some friends today, and I do need to start figuring out vitamins and minerals for me. I've never been good about taking a multivitamin, and so I need to start trying to figure out which I need to focus on, which I need to order, what the best options are. And I know some bonus vitamin D is important, 
but for me B vitamins seem to do the best and do really help my energy and lift my mood. I just don't know what needs to go with it to help it carry without throwing other things out of balance. So maybe that's what I'll look into after stream today. I don't know. We'll see. Does fish oil help? Because I've tried, I don't know. I tried a bunch of vitamins and minerals, but I never really noticed a good balance. I stopped taking fish oil just because I hated the burp. <laughs> I have really bad burps every time and it would upset my stomach after a while. I did, I do know like magnesium's important, fish oil, something starts with a C, like chondroitin con or something. But I also have to be careful too because I have so many allergies that they need to be like hypoallergenic blends. Yeah, see, I'm fine with the size of the pills. I'm used to that with everything else. I just have to watch for potential allergens. So I need like hypoallergenic versions. Um, I did notice a good thing with probiotics. It's just, I don't know if you're supposed to take those long term. So I stopped. So I don't know. I just need help on that stuff. I really need to try and start figuring out. Oh, speaking of burps, there's some chicken. so excited to be vaccinated. Like on the one hand, I'm so excited to go and do things that I haven't done and gosh, it'll be 15 months by that point. But at the same time, like if I go and try to do these things, I know I'm going to have panic attacks because it's been so long. Yeah, Kat, um, I was talking with some other people in Canada and they've been saying there's struggles to get the vaccine in Canada because the United States is hoarding 
Whereas all we hear in the United States is like, we're struggling to get enough in order to get it out to people. So I'm very curious as to if there is an actual shortage, if it's a perceived shortage, or, or if it's a purposeful shortage. Not Haley, hello, beautiful. I love the hair. I love the hair. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving the TikToks too. You're great. But I think last I read, Michigan had 39% of the population with one shot. So we're not 39% fully vaccinated, but 39% of our state's population have had one shot, at least. Oh no, not Haley. I did the same thing. They're growing out. We're getting there. Fortunately, I gave myself some long bangs, but one of the things I do if I hate my bangs after I cut them is just get a clip and I pull them back. I don't have a clip on me. But I'll take my bangs and just pin them and call it a day. And be like, what? No, it's supposed to be like that. I know, I like. Ugh. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I like the bangs, but at the same time, ugh, I don't know. But if they're longer, like these can't quite go to my ear. But very soon I'll be able to pin them a little more. Kitty, we tried this. You were, <laughs> you were not helping. You have to stay this way today. Oh. <laughs> She's being such a brat. You're not stuck, you're okay. Okay, can we stay like this for a little while? <sighs> Part of the bald club, nice. I thought about shaving my head off. My head off. Shaving the hair off my head. Wow. Oh, the widow's peak. I have a minor widow's peak, so it's not too bad. So I do that to kind of hide. I don't know. I tend to like my hair out of my face, so I pull it up a lot. But if all I'm doing is wearing it in ponytails, I should probably just cut it all off. But then I also like long hair. <laughs> yeah, having... I've cut my hair pretty short, but I haven't gone quite that short. And even still, it took so long to even get this length. This is like two years of growth after doing a pretty severe undercut. Shawnee Bear, thank you so much. Aw, that's so nice. Guess I'll have to go get myself some coffee. Coffee on Shawnee Bear. <laughs> oh, I'm still so distracted. I'm sorry, you guys. Two years. Nice. From ear length. Yeah. Um... It just, my hair tends to start breaking off. I can normally get it maybe six more inches. But not too much longer. It's just once it gets to a certain length, I don't know what to do with it anymore. It's too much effort. So then I cut it off. But I'm with you. Maybe I should stop because I do love long hair. But short hair is so easy. Especially with how much I like to dye it. <laughs> Gotta cut off all those ends <laughs> that have been dyed like seven times.
Okay. <laughs> Facts, right? It's just hard. I can't decide. I'm too indecisive, and so I kind of just let my whims take over. And then sometimes I regret those whims. Yay! Yes! You can use my Daria emote. I'm very pleased with it. I love Daria. I was trying to think of all the characters the other day when I was talking to someone. And... I remember Quinn, obviously, the sister, and then who is she dating? Because Kevin and Brittany were the cheerleader and the football player. Oh, you rewatched the DVDs? Nice. I got the DVD set for my mom, and I have not rewatched it in years. Years. Why I can remember the character names on Daria, but not like most other things, I don't know, but I can. Cause the Jane's brother who was in the band was Troy or Trey, Trey? I think it was Trey. That Daria had the crush on, which is where the heart emoji comes from. Or the heart emote that I made. A six sad world shirt? Oh, if you find a good one, send me the link. I kind of need that. It's weird to think about like the ability, like the fact we have nostalgia for this stuff. Like it was so many years ago, but it still seems not that long ago. It's weird. It's really weird. Almost as bad as Doug. I know. I really wanted to do a uh, Patty. A Patty emote from Doug. I don't know. Or Skeeter. I did like Skeeter. But do you remember... What was that? The Weekenders? No, Recess is what I'm thinking of. I really wanted to do an emote from Recess. I loved that show. So much. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, I can't remember her name, but the girl with black hair and the oversized red jacket. I loved her. It was great. Your current emotes? No, go ahead and post them. I want to see the ones you've been doing. I feel terrible. I've been not good about getting around. <gasps> nice. Very nice. You do need an Aussie emote. Shawnee, I agree. You do. That's a requirement. Oh my gosh, I forgot to take that off of all of these. Son of a biscuit. I am not paying attention. Oh no, it's just the one. Okay. I've just been working on that one for quite a while. No, oh, nice. I look for it. Are you gonna do yourself with the blue hair? Or not? Lauren and stick hundred proof. Yes. That that's funny, Shawnee Bear. You do need a deodorant sticky moat. Okay, I did.
of all of these that I have available, why in the world is it replaying songs? I have it set to be random. Hopefully, then we'll keep going. When you add, yeah, when you change colors. Yeah. I mean, you could just ask him to give you a bunch of different colors for your hair. Oh, it'd be funny if you did that for your subscription tiers so they can upgrade your hair color, <laughs> depending on how long they've been subscribed. Kitty. What? Thank you. Thank you. I think I have a couple extra emote slots that I can do something with. I need to look into that. I also want to add sounds and upgrade my layout again. Always things to work on. Always. But it's what amuses me. Shawnee Bear, I will let you know. So far, I like doing this stuff. I just need to figure out how to incorporate my tablet so I don't have to draw with a mouse and keyboard anymore. Because <laughs> that's kind of annoying. I do like that part. The, I personally see change as a positive. I always like the growth and moving forward, but definitely need to remember that even if part of you is dark, it's still always whole. I like that. I like that a lot. Because it's true, even if the you can't see the moon, you know it's still there. Whether it's new moon, full moon, waxing, waning, crescent, gibbous, like, it's still always the moon. Interesting. Interesting.
But yes, Shawnee Bear, I will definitely let you know if I need help. I would like to come up with better merch. Um, yeah, maybe some better transitions, overlays, things like that. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, this is another tarot. Another balance. Spoken. Why would you want to remove chaos? That just seems so wrong. Embrace the chaos. Or is that just me? <laughs> Maybe I'm just so used to everything being chaotic that I can't fathom a place where there isn't chaos. Which is maybe why I try to be very minimally chaotic, even though I'm pretty chaotic. Here's the question. How many people here know D&D classifications? So I'm very curious if any of you have classified yourself D and D style, like true neutral, chaotic, lawful, good, or evil. It's a nine chart, a three by three. So I'm just curious. I'm trying to. That's the goal, Mel. Little by little, I started on March 7th and I'm up to the 14th in a little over an hour. So it's very slow going. I'm struggling. I'm struggling so much. How are you today, Mel? Ugh. Maybe I just needed a stretch. Get some blood flowing. We got this. Ran errands. Oh, nice. Oh, Shawnee Bear. Thank you so much. Sending subs. Oh, so kind. Welcome to the fam jam, my newest star, Mr. Shawnee Bear. <laughs> I hope you do. I enjoy your presence. 
you do really need a deodorant stick emote, though. You really do. No, that's... No, it's definitely not because you smell. It's because it's 100 proof deodorant. <laughs> See, again, this is why I'm having trouble today. Now I'm curious if there's a way to make edible vodka, like solid form vodka. Like, what would happen if you mix it with coconut oil? So then you could actually fill a deodorant stick with 100 proof vodka. I'm super curious about this. Focus. I can do this. <laughs> I know about gelatin. I have definitely seen that done before, but it also makes it kind of sticky and weird. I'm just trying to think of something like deodorant stick texture, which is why I was leaning more towards like sugar and coconut oil maybe. The mojito spheres. Huh. Yeah, I've definitely been interested in molecular cooking lately. Well, not just lately. In general. Irish up your coffee. No, Shawnee Bear, you're working. Maybe in a few hours. When Calm Key streams, that's what. Yeah, that's lunchtime. It's fine. You can Irish up your coffee at lunchtime. <laughs> How's that sound?
Liquid lunch. Exactly. By then it's fine. You're close to the end of the day. Eh. Eh. don't know why I'm so sleepy. Probably just have to try and get to bed extra early. Ugh. Gross. Gross. Not what I Sorry, my allergies are going extra crazy. Incense of the day is honeysuckle. Oh, that's right. I burned incense and it's done burning. That's why my nose is running. Oops, double space. Lighten up helps to lighten up. Oh, goodness. So I don't know why typing about air has this running through my head, but yesterday I was having a debate with some people in another channel. Can water benders or people who are water mages or people who have water magic, can they control blood? Can they control people? Because blood is mostly water. Even skin is mostly water. Human beings are mostly water. So in my book, people can be controlled by those who have water magic. But then they were trying to say that that's a different type of magic because it's mixing earth and water since it's technically minerals mixed with water for blood magic. 
And I was trying really hard to understand. But in my book, we're mostly water. Therefore, if you are a water magician, you should be able to control people. So I'm just curious on your two cents. What do you guys think? And also, it reminded me to take a drink of water. It kind of became a debate because they, the person posed a question of, what was it? Fire, lightning, or earth magic, I think, which was the greatest or the most powerful. Or No, it was, which would you choose between fire, earth, and lightning? And I'm like, those are great, but water magic because there's water everywhere. Wait, Earth is also everywhere. No, okay, so it was ice, fire, or lightning. But ice is different to me than water magic because an ice mage wouldn't be able to control people, but it could freeze people. But ice is like an interpretation of water magic, so I don't know. We just got into a very long conversation about it. Not making good progress today. I was hoping to knock this out quickly. Be like, okay, if I get two weeks done, then I can move on to Sims. But nope, I'm just not there today.
Oh, no worries, Malpal. Thank you so much for stopping in. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you for the hydrate. I will gladly have some more water. I always need the reminders. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna try and get a couple more done and then we'll probably move on. And I'll just have to wait till next week. Oh. Free stretch. I don't know why my body's so sore today.
yesterday, well, this morning when I should have been sleeping, I was having a really good conversation with a friend about, um, actually it was about BDSM and need to hide and like how he thought God was, is vanilla and BDSM was brought through Satan if we go along those. I was like, honestly to me, I'm pretty sure it came about by the church because of shame and guilt. And a lot of this stuff wouldn't be taboo <laughs> if not for the need to drive things underground. If not for the forced shame and guilt over things. So I thought that was pretty funny of a conversation. It kept us up way too late going into theories and considerations and thoughts when both of us should have been fast asleep. It was a very interesting conversation, so I'm curious as to your thoughts on why we do things, where these things come from, where they go. What are you talking about, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> Johnny Bear, right? Well, it also depends on which Bible. It depends on which version, which interpretation. How many things deep are we going? Because if you try to take it in context of what we understand of how things were written at the time, a lot of things are actually very different from how they've been interpreted over the years. So there's obviously a big class that thinks that it's against the Bible to be gay. But then people who've studied the Bible, like in-depth translating original context and stuff, have told me that it's actually not talking about man with man, it's talking about man with child. And that virgin doesn't mean someone who hasn't been laid, it means a woman who lives of her own accord, which means like any woman who doesn't live off of a man. So I'm very curious about some of these things. Like I wish I knew what was right, what the intent was, and then how it changed over all these years and why it became so important to put shame and guilt on people. Because that was something I was studying a lot last year is how to work through my own personal shame and guilt. Because it's not very helpful in moving forward in life. So yeah, our conversation kind of turned to if, if it weren't for the shame and guilt that the church put on things, most stuff would be fine. It wouldn't be taboo. There wouldn't be this big underground world of things that a lot of people don't realize. And same there, like if the, if St. Patrick hadn't tried to push out the pagans and the Celts, they wouldn't have had to go underground in order to survive. It wouldn't have become as much of a thing and probably would have just died out if you just let it go. I don't know. It was just very interesting. Existential crises ensued. Anyway. Control and power. Yeah, everything comes down to control and power. Which is too bad, but that's true. It's just kind of amusing to me that it all came about with him making the statement that he had a conversation with this chat about God being vanilla. Like, that tells me so many things right now. 
that it's kind of funny. Whereas most people, they hear that might get offended or be very confused. I'm like, oh, no, I, I'm, I've chosen my friends well. I'm very pleased by this. <laughs> and then we had a really interesting conversation about it. Maybe I'll use that when I start dating again. That'll be my first mini test. I'll make that statement, see what the, the response is. So like I said, that it was pretty telling to me. It's a very simple statement that could go a few different ways. And it made a very interesting conversation, so. Interesting. I do like the information that these almanacs have about various cultures and holidays that I never ever thought of. Ooh, what should you have for lunch? I'm feeling a Cobb salad wrap. Because it's more fun that way than just eating a salad. <laughs> you came to the right place to talk about food, Shoddy Bear. I got you there.
Yeah, something slightly healthier. Like, it doesn't need to be overborn, but I don't know. I'm feeling some kind of wrap or, like, a really good hearty salad. Not a little, like, cutesy side salad. Like, a good chickeny salad or something. Protein heavy. <laughs> I don't know what's nearby for you, though. Normally I recommend all kinds of crazy things, like donuts, cheesecake. We're adults, we can do what we want. Have dessert for lunch, it's fine. But now, for some reason I'm feeling like a wrap or something. Chicken burgers? Oh, maybe that's why. I don't know, I just, I really see a Cobb salad wrap. Don't know why, but that's the thing in my brain at the moment. Or maybe a sub. Go get a sub sandwich. That could be good. Or like a Panera. Ooh. Get soup and salad or soup and a sandwich. Mm-hmm. I know, so many possibilities. Like, I wouldn't say something is super healthy, like a, cal a kale salad and like a green smoothie or something. But something delicious that's a little healthier. But if you just had chicken burgers. Yeah, since you just had chicken burgers, not fries or like fish and chips. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully that gave you a couple ideas. If you get it narrowed down to three, then I can help you choose. Oh, inner city Melbourne. Yeah. So you have plenty of options. Okay, good. That would overwhelm me. I'm like, oh, there's too many options today. I feel like this text is calling me out right now. And yes, that's the hat I choose to wear. Because, oh my gosh, we have been isolated for 14 months. And I have not seen very many places outside of my house in all that time. And yes, I do tend to be pretty introverted, but like, dang, even I'm struggling. super thankful for Twitch because if not for that these past few months oof, I'm sure I would have figured it out but it is kind of cool to start I mean I hate saying community because everyone says community and it's not my community I'm building but it's nice to start finding people from all over the world all walks of life all ages all affiliations and like but still have similar values that we share and building that kind of like core friend group. It's really weird, but it's very cool and I'm very thankful. And it's been 
a super difficult and challenging process to get there. And it's only the beginning, which means it's only gonna get crazier. But it's crazy connecting with people who've been at this for so long and people who've started the journey later and how everyone goes about it. Ever so slightly differently. I don't know about a savior for me. It's It's been very challenging for me, um, making me confront a lot of things that I've been putting off, which again, I know I needed to, it's just change is hard. But if not for this, I never would have met you all and had these kinds of conversations or stay up until like six or seven in the morning talking about God and BDSM, like who does this? I do, and I thought it was just me. So it's cool to find people from all over. It's a very nifty thing to bring us all together. Oh my goodness. This song makes me want to dance. Why am I yawning? I do need that coffee. I just, I don't understand. I've been, I've been drinking caffeine. I ate, I took a nap. I should not be as tired or sore as I am today, but for some reason, here we are. I don't know. I must have slept weird. Oh. Oh. Stretch. started on the 7th. We'll go a little longer. I do really want to try and get through two weeks worth today. Just a smidge longer. <laughs> Shawnee Bear, you're so great. There's only three on the next set of pages, so that, that'll that make me feel a little better about where I'm ending up. My hands are starting to cramp, but I think I can do these last couple without making it difficult to cook tomorrow, which is important. Candle and spoken. Mm. 
Oh shoot, I didn't save that. Tomorrow is pretzels. So the plan is to make pretzels from scratch. And we're gonna do pretzel bites. If there's time and energy, then we'll do regular pretzel bites as well as pepperoni and cinnamon sugar. Those separate, because I don't want pepperoni with cinnamon sugar. And then since that's gonna take time to rise, because dough, <laughs> Then, oh, I need more tags. I also want to do a hack, I guess, for pretzels using pre made frozen biscuits. So we'll try that and see how that works with hot dogs. So I'm a big fan of hot dogs. So we'll do. A couple different things tomorrow just because there's gonna be some downtime between but yeah I kind of wanted to try my hand at some pretzels it sounded kind of good today I was also considering meatballs and I kind of want to do some like veggie stir fries so we'll see, because next week I definitely want to do something very simple, just in case I'm still not feeling well from my second shot. But I'll probably try getting out my KitchenAid tomorrow and using the dough hook. We'll see, I don't know, I really like using my hands but we'll see how my hands are doing. definitely need to renew my energy. changing how I say your name. I like shortening it to Bo because I'll do Bo to do, Bo to do, Bo to do, Bo to do. I don't know. I like changing the emphasis on different syllables. But hi Bo. I stuck around a little late today. I'm glad you could stop by. Um, I know it's such a fun name. It's really fun to see how everyone changes it. Like, I kind of want to use that name for the, the banana song. And change the O's to like I's and A's and E's and see all the different ways we can say it. What's the name? How are you today, Bo? I hope you're doing well. I hope you slept well. Are you streaming? a little bit what time is it what day is it I'm so lost
starting soon. Yeah, no problem. Depending on when you're starting, I mean, we might be able to raid over to you. I just try and finish up these last couple. I was thinking of raiding off in about nine minutes, give or take. So, depends on when you get on. I could try and push longer, but probably not. Oh, class is starting soon. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, we keep missing each other. I haven't been able to raid you yet, Bo. I think those who hang out with me here that haven't checked out your channel yet would enjoy it. So I would love to get the chance to raid you one of these days. But no pressure. I know you got a lot going on right now. And school comes first. You're paying a lot of money for that. <laughs> I know. No pressures. Things are going really well. We're just chillaxing, hanging out, listening to some music, working very slowly on this digital recipe book that I've been trying to do for years. This is iteration like number, I don't know, four, that I'm retyping all this stuff. I think I do like using Evernote for this. I'll test some stuff while I'm on vacation later this week. And then I can give a better idea as to whether or not I'd recommend it. And if things go well, then I can start actually making my food recipes and putting those on here. Which is the ultimate goal. This is just kind of nice to get all these things in one place but it's not the most important it just be nice to have all of my food recipes in one place that I can search and have access to but I don't want to spend the time putting those on something to have them disappear eventually because they are old family recipes that I've been saving Oops, I missed one. It's interesting that for invigorating and refreshing scent, they say things like pine, rosemary, and eucalyptus. Whereas for me, I think of lemon or lime. Some sort of citrus tends to be more my invigorating or refreshing scent. Not. Oh, hi, yo. Yoru Night Streams. I keep wanting to say your because I'm kind of super dyslexic, but Yoru, Night Streams, how would you prefer <laughs> I say your name? Yes, I did Raid Cat yesterday. I'm a super variety streamer, so I definitely understand if each of my nights are not your thing. Just call me Yoru. I can do that. Um, Mondays, I play games. Tuesdays, I'm trying to force myself to focus on this digital recipe book that I keep putting off. Wednesdays, I cook, and Fridays, I do art typically, but this week, I will be out of town. So I'll pick the art back up next week. But thank you. I actually bleached my hair live a couple weeks ago. Let me see. Hey, 
and did that. First cooking streamer. Yeah, there's quite a few. I am not a chef or anything. It is very home cook. So a lot of times I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just following recipes and hoping for the best. Oops, that's definitely not how you spell prosperity. 21st for Tuesday. Okay. Oh, I left the holiday tag on all of those. Oh no, it was just for Ostar. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm not totally making mistakes. Yeah, I'm just trying to share. So hopefully, I know a lot of people get really nervous about cooking and I'm hoping that I can make it a little more accessible to people because it's just one of those things you pick up and try. And I'm trying a variety of recipes. I'm always open to suggestions of ingredients or things to do. So if you have a suggestion, I'm, I'm all ears. So hopefully people can take my <laughs> experiences and be like, hey, look, if she can do it, it's not that bad. That's, that's all I'm hoping for is even this is just, mm -hmm. I didn't really want to do a just chatting stream. I don't have that much to talk about right now, but at least this way it's productive and I can show ways to try different things. So Evernote is a note taking application I used back in the IT world. And when I was looking for ideas, I didn't want to pay money to have digital recipes. So I thought that I would try using this, which is free, in order to kind of bring everything together. So even if you're categorizing other things, just because I'm using it for recipes does not mean you can't translate it to other things. So again, even if I'm not, you're not doing exactly what I do, that's not what I'm here for. But hopefully I can give you ideas, give some inspiration, and if nothing else, be a place to just chillax a little bit. Wind down from a long day at work. Um, next month I'm probably going to switch Friday to Sunday. Bo, again, don't worry. Go do your classes. I'm sure we will talk later. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do really appreciate it. Yesterday was a very, very strange day. <laughs> I haven't turned on League of Legends in like four months and Kat, yeah, Kat definitely got me interested when we were talking about the new, the new character. Oh, she's so my kind of character too. She's a seamstress and a doll, a living doll. She's so cute. I haven't played in so long, like, I just kind of want to start over. But I also hate starting over because I put a lot of time and energy into it back in the day. But yes, for three years I did work in the IT field. I've done a lot of very random jobs. And I've learned a lot of very random things. What kind of, um, tech do you work in? Q 
QA tester. Oh, that's awesome. I do like Ubisoft. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything recently of theirs I've done though. But that's awesome. Yeah, definitely need lots of good QA testers. Oh, no worries, Yoru. Have a great, great day. Good luck with work. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't tried different spring cleaning routines, I do definitely recommend this. Um, I don't know, I tend to do a lot better when I take the time to do something like this is going to be talking about. I don't know, I like to do my windows inside and out, start the ceiling, get everything dusted hit it with like lemon pine salt or some sort of good scented thing and then I go through do a ritual similar to this
<laughs> they're they're getting there. This is the last one, so we can do the same thing. Oh, that's why there's a period there, and that's a capital. To prepare. There we go. Nope, the place in which we live. Yeah, I plan on being there. Uh, we got a couple hours, I think, still. Ascended, hello, welcome. I hope you're doing wonderfully today. You can't see, I'm trying to stretch my hands in between. <laughs> oh, Ascended, thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate that. That's very kind. How have you been? What have you been up to? Changes that will. See, this also says citrus. Thank you, I am having a very good stream. It's been quite productive, even though it's gone over a bit. I'm struggling, but we're, we're getting there. Oh, this is spoken. Did I forget that? Nope, I did, okay, good. Oh, I did wanna add home. Wow, salt and water, not Walt and Salter. Solder? So many hands. But yeah, once I do a full cleaning, I do like to do a smudging and then I'll do salt water and then I'll do another quick dusting and sweeping to clean anything up. Just kind of helps reset everything on a positive energy positive vibes. See, it even says here to do it twice if it feels particularly stagnant. do that part. I don't go through my house shouting, but I get the intent there. Okay, March 22nd when we started on the 7th. As much as I would love to finish March since I kind of want to finish April through tomorrow, I need to take a break. Get out, move around, rest my hands. So thank you all for hanging out. Please stick around. For just a little bit longer, we're going to find somebody to rain. Oh, 
Well, that's, that's not great. That doesn't make me happy. All right, sorry. I went to open up everything I closed and it cleared that from my Google. Oh well, that's fine. So let's find someone who's on now. Good. I was hoping she's on and she is. So I'm excited. Like I said, please stick around. We're gonna do a quick raid to Persephone Demeter. She is a wonderful, wonderful streamer going through all of the Zelda games currently. Right now she's on Ocarina of Time. So if you could, please show some love, give her some support, preferably compliments. Just make her day a little brighter and she'll do the same for you. So thank you so much for sticking around. I will be back tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern for cooking pretzels. Then Friday, I will likely not be streaming. So I will be back Monday with more Sims, 6 p.m. Tuesday, we'll continue the digital recipe book and next Wednesday, more cooking with art next Friday. If you have any questions, just find me on socials. Feel free to DM me, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. In the meantime, have a good one. It's time for this errand to go.